Hi everyone, Robert Kajiwara here, and today we're going to continue our look at Hawaiian studies. Uh, we're going to examine two PhD dissertations, one by Dr. Ron Williams about the history of Hawaiian Christianity during the late 19th century, which was a very pivotal turning point in Hawaiian history. The second by Dr. Kelly Murphy about the link between Olelo Hawaii, the Hawaiian language, and Hawaiian Pidgin English. So first up is Dr. Ron Williams' PhD dissertation from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, my alma mater. It's titled, Claiming Christianity, the Struggle over God and Nation in Hawaii, 1880 through 1900. Now, for most of the 20th century in Hawaiian studies, um, scholars really tended to write from a Western or a white American point of view. They tended to use uh, English language primary sources, uh, and they tended to neglect uh, Hawaiian language sources. And so Dr. Williams, when he started his research, he decided to break from that tradition and decided to study the Hawaiian language uh, newspapers and letters and other historical documents. Regarding Christianity in Hawaii, the popular narrative is that uh, Christianity has been a white American colonizing force here in these islands. I mean, that's true. I, there's a lot of truth to that. Kind of the, the mindset that he expected to find, that's, that's the narrative he expected to find in uh, reading the Hawaiian language documents. But that's not what he found. Instead, he found uh, a strong, unique Hawaiian Christian identity. And he saw that Hawaiian Christians were actually very strong patriots. They're strong patriots uh, for the Hawaiian kingdom and for Hawaiian independence. Hawaiian Christians played a huge role in the Kue petition in which 90% of Hawaiians uh, signed declaring that they opposed annexation by the United States. So the Kue petition was largely circulated in Hawaiian Christian churches at the time and Hawaiian churches uh, really were played a huge role in the organ in the organizing efforts of Hawaiians to retain uh, their sovereignty, their independence. The second dissertation we're going to examine today is by Dr. Kelly Murphy out of the University of Calgary uh, Department of Linguistics. This is not a history dissertation; it's linguistics. Uh, it's titled Melodies of Hawaii, the relationship between Hawaii Creole English and Olelo Hawaii prosody. Hawaii Creole English is better known here in Hawaii as Pidgin. So here in this dissertation, Dr. Murphy makes the case that there is a strong link between Olelo Hawaii, or the Hawaiian language, and uh, Hawaiian Pidgin English. The popular narrative among locals here in Hawaii is that Pidgin developed during the 19th and 20th centuries as uh, waves of Asian immigrants came to work on the plantation. They didn't speak English and they needed a common language in order to communicate. So uh, the result was the development of Pidgin, which is a mixture of English and Hawaiian and many other languages such as Chinese, Japanese, Okinawan, Portuguese, and others. Now there's certainly a lot of truth to that narrative. Uh, Pidgin did develop during uh, that period, but that's not actually its origins. Its origins are much earlier than that. Uh, Pidgin uh, was first started uh, when the first English speakers came to Hawaii during the late 1700s. So Dr. Murphy makes the case that uh, there is a close relationship between the Hawaiian language and Hawaiian Pidgin English. And in her dissertation, you can see um, all the influences and the, the, the crucial foundation that the Hawaiian language has played in the development of Hawaiian Pidgin English. So there you go. That's our study for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of our videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.